Causeway chaos, a shooting, carjacking, crash, and then more carjacking attempts. All of it unfolding in a miles-long crime spree that snarled rush hour traffic on I-80. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. The news also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley live near I-80 with the unsuspecting drivers caught up in that madness. Laura. Today it was absolute chaos and it completely shut down I-80 westbound at the height of rush hour. It all happening on the YOLO causeway. We spoke to one man whose parents were in the accident. He was stuck in traffic not knowing they were a part of all of this. Two victims of an incident that unfolded fast. In less than two hours, gunshots, carjacking, and a crash. Several people falling victim to one suspect. Police were finally able to take into custody. Yeah, it's always disappointing to hear it. Jaquan Johnson lives near Silver Eagle Road, where police say the chaos began around 4 o'clock after gunshots rang out. Gunshots. You know, you hear it every other night. Police say the suspect, responsible, then stole this silver Hyundai and took off. Uh, dangerously on the median here on the left side, going through all the slow traffic, 100 miles plus. SAC PD following the suspect from the air as he drove nearly 100 miles per hour over the YOLO causeway, eventually crashing into several cars, including this red SUV. They bought it two days ago, actually. Robert Yan's parents were driving home in their brand new car when they were hit by the speeding suspect. Well, they were just driving, um, I guess, westbound, I-80, and all of a sudden, just somebody just hit him, and the car started going out of control. The suspect did try to carjack other vehicles on the causeway, but was eventually stopped by police. They put in a lot of people's life in danger. I mean, especially my parents. I mean, they're elderly. After receiving a frantic call from mom, Robert rushed to reach his parents, stuck in this traffic for miles on the causeway. And it's crazy to think that, I mean, somebody that you know is involved in that accident that's creating all this traffic. Robert's parents weren't seriously hurt. The suspect was taken to UC Davis with minor injuries. Police have not yet identified that suspect, but he will be booked at the Sacramento County Jail. And there's still a few things to unpack here, including those original gunshots that sort of started all of this chaos. As soon as we have more on uh, what those were about, of course, we will let you know. Yeah, we throw that word around a lot, wild scene and chaos, but that was definitely both. Laura, thank you live from the Causeway. Yep.